Once again, we've reached New Year. Let's look back at the old year and find out what went wrong. That was me having a bit of fun with the Grumbleweeds 20 years ago. I'm having a lot of fun these days as well with my own solo act. Have a look. Good evening. I started at the bottom 40 years ago, and I like it here. <laughs> I met my wife at Manchester Airport. I was going to Lanzarote, she was sniffing luggage. I saw it advertised, border collie, pedigree, 100 quid. I said to the farmer, what's his pedigree like? He says, why don't you ask him? <laughs> I said, what? He says, why don't you ask him? So I looked at the dog, the dog looks at me, I said, what's your pedigree like? And the dog said, well, I won Cross last year. My brother's won it twice, my sister's won it three times, I've worked for guide dogs for the blind, I've been a sniffer dog, and at the moment, I'm at night school doing media studies. <laughs> I said, that's fantastic, how come he's only 100 quid? He says, because he's such a bloody liar. <laughs> I moved down from the Dales, and I've moved into Ilkley. Isn't it posh there? I bought the big issue yesterday, eight quid. <laughs> the fella flogging it says, aren't you Morris out the Grumbleweeds? I said, yeah, he says, tell us a joke. So I said, knock, knock. He said, who's there? I said, I thought you were homeless. <laughs> so there's a blind snake and a blind rabbit talking. The blind rabbit says, well, I don't know what I am. And the snake says, well, you're fluffy. You're fluffy tail, you're furry, you've got big ears. I reckon you're a rabbit. What am I? The rabbit says, well, you're spineless, you're slimy, you've got a forked tongue. I reckon you're a politician. <laughs> I've got a manager now, um, and he said to me, uh, what do you look like these days, Maurice? And I said, well, a sort of a cross between a BG and a rat looking through a lavatory brush. <laughs> Talk in everlasting words and dedicate them all to me. And I will give you all my life I'm there if you should call me. You think that I don't even hear a single word you say. It's only you words and words are all like. One night I'm watching the telly, having a little tipple, knock on the door. Open the door, there's the biggest Scotsman stood there with a the kilt on I have ever seen. And he says, would you like to come to a Cayley? I said, what's a Cayley? He says, there's lots of booze, lots of food and lots of sex. I said, great, who's going to be there? He says, just me and you. Well, I can remember my first day as if it were yesterday. I can't, honestly. I was only nine and it was a blind day. And this girl... Unfortunate for me, like, she had really smelly breath. <laughs> and I'd been playing football, and I hadn't had time to wash my feet, and I had really smelly feet. And she said, I've got something to tell you. I said, I think I know what it is, you've eaten me socks. Have you ever been out for a meal with your missus? And you sat there looking at her adoringly, but you're not listening to her because you're listening to what's going on on the next table. Well, I did that the other night. On the next table to me, there were an Irish couple and an American couple. An American guy says, pass me the honey, honey. And his wife says, sure, pass me the sugar, sugar. And the Irish guy says, pass me the milk, you cow. <laughs> so this fella's playing golf with me, actually, last week. And, and we're, on, we're on about the 17th, and he's just about to put out. And this hearse goes past, and he stops putting. He takes his hat off like that, stands back. Let's the hearse goes back, about two minutes, puts his hat back on and puts out. I said, that was very nice, very, very respectful. This is well, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> First time I had sex, I was absolutely terrified. I was on my own. 